All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane, and this is the Java uh, playlist at the Coding Zoo. In today's lesson, we're gonna continue our lessons on Java streams. We're gonna show you how to collect information that's been processed through intermediate functions in a Java stream, collect that uh, result into a different data structure than the data structure you started with. If you've never used the util class called collectors, which has factory functions on it for collecting data from a stream, then stick around. We're going to jump right into that. Okay. So on my desktop, I've got an example here. It's very similar to the lesson that we did in the previous week. Uh, I've got a class called terminating with collectors example. I have a main method. And as you can see here, I created an array list doing a list integer my numbers arrays as list. And I passed in uh, these uh, numbers. And from that list of integers, I'm going to do my numbers stream dot filter. And this little Lambda expression here is going to filter those numbers down to uh, numbers with the uh, op operator mod of two equal to zero, which basically means I'm filtering the numbers down to even numbers. And then it prints it out. So this is something we learned uh, in our lesson on filtering. Uh, this is filtering that data down. If you're not familiar with that, um, I'll uh, put a link up here uh, if I can remember uh, to show you uh, how to do that. Um, it's in our previous lesson. So this prints it out. So what if I don't want to just print it out? You know, I, in the last lesson, I printed it out so you could actually see what happened uh, to the data. But what if I want to collect that data? What if my use case requires me to not just print it out, but to collect it. So how would I do that? Well, I would use a terminating function instead of for each, I would use another terminating function called collect. So let's try that. I am going to create a variable of the type of a list for integers to collect my result in. I'm going to create a new stream from the my numbers list that we already have. I am going to filter that down again. I'm going to use the same expression I used before. So number, number, mod two equal zero. Now, instead of printing it out with a for each, I'm going to collect it. So dot collect. Now you have to have something to collect that data into. Java provides a great util class for that. It's called collectors. It has factory functions on it that will take care of many different use cases. I'm going to collect it into a, let's say to list. Okay and put my semicolon. So I have list integer, my result equals my numbers. And I somehow ended up with parallel stream. Let me change that back to stream. Um, and filter numbers uh, into number mod two equal to zero. So it's gonna filter it down to even numbers. I'm gonna collect it and I'm gonna put it into a list. And that's, that's pretty much it. So that is your function, uh, your terminating function collect. So instead of printing it out with for each, we're collecting it into a new list. So I am going to print out that list as a whole. So there's my result. And I am also going to print out that beginning list that we had, just to show you that it hasn't changed. My numbers and let's try that out let's see if it works
All right, so the first thing that happened is uh, I created an array list here. I looped through it and I printed out all of the even numbers. You'll see that right here. And the next thing I did was I uh, created a new stream, looped through that original list. And again, I filtered it down. Now, if you look right here, you'll notice I'm missing a six. I have a six and an eight, but the rows, where's my four? Well, it, it's up there. I had it. I had it hiding a little bit. It is right there. So uh, I have the even numbers from that list, four, six, and eight. And that was this line that printed that out. And then I performed this stream and I filtered and collected into a list called my result. And then I printed out that list, which ends up with, yeah, four, six, eight in brackets, which is basically showing that it's a list. And then I go back to my original list, my numbers, I print that out and you'll notice that there are odd numbers. All right, there you go. That's an example of using a terminating function called collect. The collect takes the data that you uh, filtered or performed intermediate uh, functions on and puts it into, uh, form, uh, collects it into uh, other uh, data structures. Um, I hope that makes sense. You can even use collect to uh, perform uh, various operations other than just putting it into a list, do many different things with collect. Um, and we'll be covering those different things in upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, leave me a message below. Click the like button if you like this video. That, that's, that's a big help to our channel. We appreciate it much. If you haven't subscribed, please click subscribe. That also helps. And if you know anybody who is wanting to learn how to, to use Java, send them our way. Also, we have JavaScript, HTML, and CSS videos. Anybody learning those different languages, send them our way. Tell them to check out our channel uh, or the website, thecodingzoo.com. We're also on Facebook, too, if you want to check us out there. Appreciate your time. I thank you for joining us. I hope to see you again next time, and I hope you have a great day.